Hi everyone, it's Alma Christina. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now for today's video, it's something very different. I'm going to be doing my first ever Hobonichi cousin plan with me. Now I'm a little bit nervous about this because I'm not really used to this planner. I've never used it before. And I actually was going to start using it uh, next week because on the 8th my boys go back to school. And I'm going to have like the whole day to plan out stuff to do, you know, things to get done. And, but I thought, why don't we just start fresh, you know, the 1st of August. And for this kind of plan with me, I'm not going to be doing a whole bunch of decorating. My happy planners are very heavily decorated, but these I'm going to be doing a lot more like writing. So I hope this goes good. Um, and then I, I probably won't use, I'm not going to use a sticker kit. I do have these three little books that I made for my Hobonichi um, the stickers that I'm going to be using. I have like these little stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I have some from Nightingale Paper Co. Which are so cute, but I, I don't think I'm going to be using... I'm going to try to make this like a more toned down. Although it's going to be toned down anyway. I don't know you guys, I'm just trying things out. And then I have also have some from Sweet Kawaii Design, some little stickers. And I have sticker kits from the Coffee Monsters Co. I have sticker kits from the Coffee Monsters Co. and from um, Sweet Kawaii Design also. But for this week, like I said, I'm going to be doing it like... I don't know, more chill, and I thought I would use like maybe just some washi at the top and bottom. I, I really want to use this pretty butterfly one. This is Happy Planner, and then they they have there's some matching stickers that are in this color story book. These, so I might use maybe the ones that like coordinate the colors, maybe these. And then I also might use some tumble markers. I don't know, maybe for bullet points or I don't know, you guys. I'm I'm kind of a little bit lost, too, so I hope this comes out cute. And I also might use some letter stamps. So, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry, but I'm like nervous and I'm like not sure what to do. But I'm going to go ahead and start by adding the washi at the top and the bottom. And then maybe I'll like move you guys in so you can see me like write and stuff. I'm going to be doing a lot of writing. And I'm going to be using the Energel, Pencil Energel RTX in 0.7. I really like this one. Um, I did a pen test in this book. And this is the one that I like the best. Although it is a little bit inky, I noticed. And sometimes it might do a little bleed through, but I really like it. I just, I mean, I have others to, to use also, but I'm going to use this pen. So like I said, let me go ahead and put down the washi. And then I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of like awkward pauses or something. So maybe I'll just end up like doing a voiceover or, or I don't know, maybe I'll put some music and you guys can just watch me work. Because, I don't know, like I said, you guys, I'm new at this and we'll see how it goes. So let me go ahead and start with the washi. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what, you guys, I'm going to put, I have a pencil board. I have this pencil board and I think it helps a lot because these pages are kind of like, I don't know, they move around and stuff.
Alright guys, so I have my washi down and it is a very different paper than the Happy Planner. So it was like, it's gonna get, I need to get used to it, <laughs> putting down washi. It's not the same as Happy Planner. But um, these are the stamps that I'm gonna use. They're alphabet stamps. I got them off of Amazon and they're really cute. I really like this little box. And then I'm gonna use uh, Versa Magic Midnight Black ink. I also got it at Amazon. So I think what I'm going to do is like on this column, I want to put like this week and then um, I think I'm going to do like my filming schedule, filming, editing, uploading. I think I'm going to do that with the letters also. And then I guess the rest of the stuff, I'll just put bullet points and yeah, but I was thinking under the, under the stamps, I would put like a little like. I don't know like little swatch thingy or I don't know what it's called but yeah I was thinking of doing that so let me see how this goes oh my gosh I'm nervous okay um so over here I'm gonna put this week oh my gosh um I think that's it I think that'll fit. Yeah, so I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, so I think I'm gonna be filming because right now that my kids are not in school, I film um, when they go to sleep and they go to sleep at nine. So I think I'll put it like at 10. Okay. And then Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put like a little swatch thingy like that for when I edit and upload. So I'm just do that real quick and let it dry. And then I'll come back and you guys can see me do the steps. Alrighty guys, so I think this is dry. And I know it looks a little weird right now, but hopefully once, you know, I put the stamps on there, it'll look better. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp here um, this week. And I don't really want it to look perfect. I want it kind of to look like... I don't know like kind of cool and like the letters going up and down so let's see how that turns out okay See, I like how the S is higher, like I think that looks cute, but I feel like maybe I'm going to need a little bit more room to write week. Yeah, let me put just another little line. I'm going to let that dry. Go ahead and do week. Okay, so I needed a little bit more brown right there, but I think it looks okay. But that's fine. So yeah, this is exactly how I want it to look, like not perfect. I think it looks cute like that. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in all of these already. So here's how it turned out. I, I used all of my stamps for my filming schedule. And now all I need to do is write in everything else. And I think I'm going to use this for bullet points. And so let me go ahead and do that. And then after that, I'll just add maybe a couple of little butterfly stickers and we'll be done. Okay, I hope all of this is completely dry. And also, guys, I, I noticed that sometimes, because I've tried writing in the journal part of this, 
and I noticed that my hands get a little sweaty for some reason when I'm like holding down the page and like I don't want to get wet on it so I'm going to use this paper to just you know put my hand down so I can write more comfortably Okay, so I wrote everything in and I think it looks pretty good. Now the last thing I want to do is add those butterflies that I was talking about earlier. These, I think I'll just add like one, two, three, four. Because those are kind of like the colors that I have going on here. So let me just pull those out. Oh, this one's really big. Okay, so I think that's enough. And actually, I think this is too much because I didn't want to already have a bunch on the washing. So maybe I'll put this one down here and then maybe one over here and maybe that's it because I don't really don't want to put too many no this one or this one let me see how this one will fit This one's a little too big. Maybe if I'll cut this off a little bit. I don't think it looks too weird. That's pretty. Um, I think that's all I'm going to add because I don't want it to be too full. Let me just see how this one would look. I kind of want to add it here. I wish I could have put that one down lower and there's like no way I can take that off. <laughs> That's one thing about this paper is like it's stuck. I think I'll put it here. Alright, 
finished. So that was it. Oh my goodness, I really like it. Alrighty guys, so that was my first ever Hobonichi cousin plan with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!